on Holiday Hormone Hack here in the Facebook group. Uh, and those of you watching not in the Facebook group, join the Facebook group, Transform Autoimmune Disease Naturally, uh, or Transform Autoimmune Naturally. Well, I want to put together, my second most asked for recipe is a um, cabbage slaw. And I love a cruciferous pack cabbage slaw. That's a holiday, that's a hormone hack anytime. And it's actually the, my favorite dish for a crowd, for a group anyway, in my family. Every time I have a family meal, I probably make the slaw in one variation or another. And it's so simple. So I just want to show you how I quickly I put it together, okay? So you have a big bowl. I basically take <coughs> organic cabbage, okay? And I slice it all up. I also um, do some um, purple. I like um, eating from all colors of the rainbow. So if you have purple cabbage, get purple cabbage. Notice I sliced up all the purple cabbage here also. If there's purple cabbage, you could do sliced carrots, which I do. Sliced radishes. Radishes are amazing for helping your liver process hormones. Cilantro is right here. Wonderful liver loving herb and also detoxifies your body. A lot of people use actually cilantro for metal detoxification from the body, okay? And then, um, so these are some of the ingredients in there is, and um, is basically the cabbage, some sliced radish, some sliced carrots, cilantro. If you like onion, you could chop a little bit of onion in there, okay? It's up to you. So I'm just gonna show you how quickly it is to put the slaw together, and then there's lime, okay? You know I love lemon and lime, so it's really easy. So basically, number one is, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna, I'm gonna point the camera down. If you're watching, tell me where you're watching from. Um, and I know it's Thanksgiving, so I'm appreciative of you guys joining. Um, so I'm just gonna show you how you put the slaw together. So number one is, is that you get the cabbage in there, in the bowl. And this is half of a big cabbage head. So you can see this really feeds a crowd. You know, people are talking about cooking on a budget and stuff. I mean, this salad, um, that, that's gonna feed 20 plus people, literally is about $6 worth of groceries, you know? And that's half of the cabbage, okay? And then next, I put in purple cabbage, too. I like purple in there. I like it for the color. And the purple phytonutrients are really good for brain. So if you're suffering from brain fog, um, focus issues, you know, getting these purples in. And even the carrots, I got purple carrots. Get colors in, you know? I, I challenge people in my program to get, like, you know, at least 20 colors of the rainbow and um, 20 foods, um, uh, different colors in, not 20 colors, but like get a whole bunch of colors in every single week, at least 20 foods from all colors of the rainbow. Um, add some onion in there, some radish in there, some cilantro, you know I love cilantro, guys. Okay, so it's really not like a crazy amount of ingredients, okay? And then basically you put lime and always get a citrus crusher, you know, the juicer. Like literally, like who the heck juices limes without this? Emily says, love all these veggies. I do too. Uh, and I'm feeding a bunch of vegetarians tonight too. That's why I'm bringing a couple of these side dishes. Um, you know, like I would say this whole slaw, maybe two limes, you know, but depending how you like your tartness. Somebody asked the other night if uh, they could use apple cider vinegar. You absolutely can, but I like the fresh flavor of the lime better. And you can absolutely use lemon as well. Glad you're able to come in. I'm actually making the slaw to bring Jackie's house for the Thanksgiving. Okay, so I just lime juice the heck out of this. All right, and then people always under salt. I love salt, so like, um, you know, of course, if you have um, hypertension or can just pop failure, don't overdo it. But like literally a thing like this would be about half a tablespoon of salt. Let it rain. Let it rain. <laughs> Okay, and then pepper. Um, some pepper in there would be awesome. Okay, so see that? Okay, and then fat. Like, this is really important. When you make a slaw, I hate the whole mayo um, slaw thing, okay? Just like, it's totally done with that, unless you make your own mayo at home, okay? Um, all that preservatives and stuff. Amanda, good to see you too. And then basically, I love extra virgin olive oil into my slaw. You could also use MCT oil. Um, I sometimes will use MCT. I love the flavor of uh, extra virgin olive oil in salads or slaws. So let it pour. I know. Let it pour. Because fat is good for hormones. Now, if you're strictly cooking for a veg vegetarian crowd, do not, you can omit this step. And I just did it in my chickpea salad. But this is my secret sauce for a lot of stuff. Like, People who know me know that there's rarely a dish I didn't sneak this in, and it's called red boat fish sauce. 
Um, and it's gluten free, incredible quality. You can order it off Amazon. Um, and I like, it's like the secret mommy power punch in a lot of my dishes. So if it's purely for vegetarians, don't add it. Uh, if, if it's a mix, uh, if, um, if they're okay with fish or it's a non-vegetarian crowd, go ahead and add it and just put a couple squirts in there. Okay, I'm doing vegetarian this tonight, so I don't want to add it. And then I go ahead and mix it. Okay, just gonna go ahead and mix this together and then I'm gonna show you what the finished product looks like. By the way, I just, earlier today, I made the, um, I made the, um, my hormone hack chickpea salad. I just posted that video and you can see a picture of that finished product that I'm gonna be bringing. Uh, tonight for Thanksgiving dinner. But anyway, you could, the, the reason I like this dish is because it's so versatile. So what happens is once you make the slaw, it's really great as a side dish, right? And it's not like your typical leaf, leafy green salad. It's full of cruciferous, guys. It's got the cabbage in there. It's um, got cilantro in there, uh, radish in there. So this like literally packs a power punch. So I mixed it all up. Let me just kind of show you guys really quickly is Put in a pretty bowl, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Like, that is so pretty. And if you like extra uh, purple cabbage in there, just put a bunch of extra in there. I love these, um, I love the radishes in there. They're pretty and they're like really adds, you know, different flavor to it, a little bit of a kick, you know? So, I love cabbages, I mean radish. And then carrot, you don't have to go with the regular orange carrots. I mean, go for purple carrot, look how pretty these are. And these vegetables have all these colors, the reds, the orange, the purples, have what's called phytonutrients in it that basically do a whole lot of amazing stuff in your body, including detoxification, anti-cancer, hormone balancing, helps you make hormones. Just needs a little more salt. Oh, so I, have, I like getting it a really So I have a big bowl like this, you know, pour it in. Literally, then I'm ready to go to Thanksgiving with the crowd. That took me, guys, five minutes to get put together, all right? So happy Thanksgiving. And, ooh, I may have an early bird announcement coming up shortly. Bye.